welcome to the short presentation looking at a unique set of maps in geography based on the concept of sphere of influence. These maps are based on the idea of sphere of influence. This is defined as the area served by a particular location, shop or place. For instance, a local corner of a village shop will have a very small sphere of influence when compared to a major shopping centre such as the Bull Ring in Birmingham. The idea of sphere of influence is based upon two key ideas. Threshold population is the least amount of customers a shop really needs for it to be worth opening, whereas range is how far people would be willing to travel to get to that shop or place. The model opposite shows three small corner shops, for instance, A, B and C. The maximum distance people would travel to each shop is shown by the area within the circle. Now we can see shop D, a large supermarket which has a much larger range as can be seen by the bigger circle and it includes attracting some customers from shop A as well. Now we see shop E which represents a very large supermarket chain such as Tesco's or Asda. It has so many products it attracts customers from within the circle including people that might have gone to the shops in the corner shops and the local supermarkets. Why not pause the show to make sure you fully understand the theory behind this. On the map of Tamworth we can see an example here with a red shaded area. This represents the range from which the small local shop in Amington will attract customers. The very large Asda however draws customers from even places beyond what we can be seen on the map including people though who live near the small Amington shop. These people will go to the Asda when they need to purchase items not stocked locally. Here is a map showing the sphere of influence of the town of Tiverton in Devon. Each shaded area shows how long it would take to travel to or from Tiverton in 15 minute intervals. The very dark shaded area in the centre of the map is the area within 15 minutes from the pin which is Tiverton. We can see that it takes 45 minutes to get from Biddeford in the west which can be shown in the red circle. I found this out by counting the number of 15 minute intervals between the two places, looking at the changing colours. Can you work out how long people from Yeovil in the east would take to get to Tiverton? Why not pause the show to ensure you fully understand how to interpret this map and be able to work out that Yeovil is an hour away from Tiverton. Here we can see the damage caused by the Nepal earthquake in April 2015. The epicentre of the earthquake can be seen as a small group of circles northwest of Kathmandu in the centre of the map. The key says that the very severe perceived shaking covered the area to the east of the quake with much less perceived shaking to the west of the epicentre. Look carefully at the different colours and what they all represent. Pause the show and look at how the key helps show the sphere of influence from the Nepal earthquake of 2015. Often the examiners combine a range of factors together. Here we can see settlement A in the centre and how far you can travel in 30 minutes from there. The striped area shows the maximum distance you can travel within 30 minutes. Notice you can get to settlement B because there's a junction off the motorway, shown in blue. To get to the village D though, would take much longer than 30 minutes due to the limited access along the B road, despite it being less than 20 miles from A. We can also see that settlement C is hard to access as well, because to get to it, you need to follow a B road up into the hills. This is the last screen. Pause the show and ensure that you can fully understand the different sphere of influence maps and what they all represent.